In this session, let us revise the basics of artificial intelligence. Let us learn about AI ethics. What are AI ethics? Ethics are the rules that help us determine what is good or what is right. The ethics of AI lies in the ethical quality of prediction and outcomes drawn out of that and the impact it has on human beings. Now, if something goes wrong, then a harm is definitely caused, isn't it? So, there lies the need for AI ethics. As we grow in the AI usage trends, we need to keep aspects relating to ethical practices in mind while developing the solutions for AI. Let us understand some of the ethical concerns in detail. Now, imagine that we are in the year 2030 and self-driving car would be a common concept. Now, assume one day your father is going to office in self-driving car. Suddenly, a small boy comes in front of the car. The incident was so sudden that the car is able to make either of the two choices. Go straight and hit the boy who came in front and injure him severely or take a sharp left turn to save the boy and smash the car into the metal pole thus damaging the car as well as injuring your father. Now with the help of this scenario we understand that the developer has to go through all such dilemmas while developing the car's algorithm. Here the morality of the developer gets transferred into the machine as what according to him or her is right would have the priority and hence the selection would be made by the machine. Let's assume that the car has hit the boy who came in front of it. Now who should be held responsible? Is it the person who bought the car? The manufacturing company, the developer who developed the car's algorithm or the boy who came in front of it got in charge. Now when we look at all these options, we find that the choice will differ from person to person. So one must understand that nobody is wrong in this case. Each one of us will have a different perspective and can take decisions based on our moralities. Yes? Now let us talk about data privacy. We use smartphones, laptops and make use of various applications like WhatsApp, YouTube, Facebook, isn't it? Have you noticed that when we are searching for any information, in a matter of time, we start getting related advertisements on Gmail or Facebook or YouTube. Now, how does this happen? How do you think it is possible? We understand with this example that websites are tracking or collecting information about what we are doing online. This raises a few questions. Are we okay to share our data with the external world? And why do these applications collect data? Not always we are ready to share our data with the external world, isn't it? And I think apps are collecting data to suggest better recommendations to us every time or to give targeted advertisements, right? So they are definitely collecting data. Remember, when you download and install an app, it asks you for several permissions. Now there lies the task of giving permission to the app. We unknowingly give permission to the app to take data. Right? And these app makers are so smart that unless we permit, the app doesn't get installed. 
These apps have the permission to access various sensors in your smartphone and gather data about you and your surroundings. So the next time you install an app, be cautious and go through the agreement before clicking on I agree. Got it students? Another aspect of AI ethics is bias. Everyone has bias irrespective of how much ever we try to be unbiased. And all these biases are not negative all the time. Sometimes it is required to have a bias to control a situation or to keep things working. Right? Now, when we are talking about machine, we know that it is artificial and cannot think on its own. Then how does it show bias? Any bias is usually transferred by the programmer. Now, bias is a phenomenon which occurs when an algorithm produces results that are discriminatory. And usually, these are due to the built-in biases which are created by the programmer. AI machines are only as good as data that we put into them. If we put in good data, we get excellent results. If we put in bad data, it will definitely result in some form of racial, gender or ideological biases. Many AI systems will continue to get trained if you put bad data or if you train with bad data and make this an ongoing problem. The bias in AI systems could definitely erode the trust between human and machines at learn. So we need to be very careful when we feed in the data sets for our AI model. Since artificial intelligence is still a budding technology, not everyone has access to it. People who can afford AI-enabled devices make the most out of it, while people who don't have access are left behind. Because of this, there is a gap which has emerged between two classes of people and it keeps on getting widened with the advancements of technology. Now, AI access can be defined as the mission where information can be organized and made available to everyone. Despite AI promises to bring forth new opportunities, there are certain associated risks that need to be mitigated appropriately and effectively. To give a better perspective, the ecosystem and socio-technical environment in which AI systems are embedded needs to be more trustworthy. With this, we come to the end of this session. I hope you have understood. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.